Welcome back to Goldwyn Dinner Club. I'm Griff. I'm Parker. And we're playing Super Metroid. Oh, yeah. Look at that S icon for the save room. It's such a sassy S. Sassy. Do you remember? Um, so this is the Phil Hartman episode. Do you remember <laughs> the... Um, <laughs> goes right in the thumbnail. Do you remember the... Uh, uh, this God, This we could just call this show like Elderly Millennials Reminisce. Do you, <laughs> Do you remember that uh, it was a Phil Hartman sketch on SNL? I, I think the name of the show was just called Sassy something. And he was just a guy who would say the word sassy too much. <laughs> and that was the entire premise. It wasn't any clay. It was, and the guests would get frustrated because he wouldn't stop saying sassy. Yeah. So I think it was like Christian Slater and a couple other guys would come on and he'd go, Welcome to the show. Uh, you know, you have three incredibly handsome young men who are very sassy. And they would just, you remember just Jingle like, All Thanks. the Way? I, I saw it once, and I was he's like, a, "This is okay." And people he's hated in that it. too. <laughs> That's the second movie he did with Sinbad because he did the yeah, house guest or whatever. Yeah. Which I remember being okay. Was he in Jingle All the Way? Am I crazy? He, he was the maybe? neighbor, right? I don't remember, dude. I he was remember. Arnold Schwarzenegger's neighbor, and he was like too talkative. That is probably true. I don't doubt that. Phil Hartman, maybe? though, a, a, a treasure. Gone too soon. I think, you know what a lot of people, I think, don't know about Phil Hartman? Like, you know, he's on SNL. He killed it. You know, he played, you know, Clinton and Reagan and, and everything in between. He was on The Simpsons, right? But I think a lot of people don't know that he co-wrote uh, Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Oh, really? That, that, movie, that movie is written by him and Paul Rubens. They went away for, like, a weekend at a motel and wrote it together. That is one and, of the greatest movies ever made. And if you re and what's funny too is when they talk about it, they're like, well, God, how did you write that? It's so perfect. They they don't lie about it. They're like, oh, we literally bought a book called the How to Write a Screenplay and we copied the beats. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if it so, works, it works. When, and when you, so when you get that advice and you're like, ugh, you roll your eyes, don't roll your eyes. Just do oh. it. Like, just suck it up and do it uh i think it was paul rubens who's like yeah you know it says page 30 this thing happens and sure enough by page 30 peewee loses his bike done so they wrote that together and he was also in the original uh like uh hbo uh, uh special they did where they sort of filmed the peewee like the original version of peewee at the roxy or whatever he was captain carl and it's this yeah. whole weird thing, but like, yeah, he's a, a big part of that. So like, he's a writer, performer. Oh yeah, Again, he was like, Captain Carl. Yeah, he was in Pee Wee. Captain Carl. And then the I Pee-wee found out the show came after the movie, though. Uh, I don't think he was ever in Pee Wee's Funhouse. This was the show they filmed at the, the Rocks. live show. Yeah, that was before the movie. Oh, okay. Before the movie, I'm pretty sure it was before the movie. Um, I mean, I could be wrong, but I feel fairly certain it was. Before. Yeah, because the live show had the bike. I don't right. know if it. I don't know if it did. Live shows Captain Carl and Miss Yvonne. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, the Lawrence Fishburne. I don't know if he was in it yet as Cowboy Curtis. I think that was. He the, was definitely in it. I have the. T- he I was the in. Tape. I don't. He was in Pee Wee's Funhouse. I had the tape. Lawrence Fishburne was for sure in the stage show. I remember. Okay. I'm not sure. Sound off in the comments below if you know. But the other thing I found out recently is that Miss Yvonne from the show and uh, the series and everything else. It's, it's Charlie's mom. It's Charlie's mom on Always Sunny. Yeah. I had no idea. And I'm like, it's a testament to her performance. Uh, I believe her name is uh, Lynn Marie Stewart. So huge. Uh, yeah. Money me. Money cheers. now. Yes. I I, money. That was the, that's, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, I, I, need mo- I need money. Money me. Money now. <laughs> me a money. I needing a lot now. <laughs> Charlie's mouthing it with her. Yeah, uh, that is. I think about that line all the time too. I, what does she say? Like until my brain, until my lungs sizzle pop and explode inside my body. <laughs> <laughs> that was my line. Yeah. <laughs> so good, uh, an amazing uh, performer. But yeah, check out that old Pee Wee Live Live at the Roxy show. It's really funny if you haven't seen it. A lot of a lot of great jokes and sh- Jambi, she's amazing. Jambi Jambi just passed away recently. That's true. He did John uh, Paragon, I think name uh, another yeah. amazing performer so 
Pee Wee, uh, you know what else? Just while we're on a weird Phil Hartman tear with the Phil Hartman episode of Super Metroid here. Uh, <laughs> hey, we're, we're traveling back to 94. That's just what it is. Ooh, the, the classic suit. suit. Do you know that this suit is mistranslated? That it's supposed to be the barrier suit? In Japanese, oh. it's the barrier suit with a B, as in barrier, and it was mistranslated into varia. Oh. This kind is of, the classic. This is the classic look. Kind of. Oh, it's so good. This is this is what's in all the artwork. Whenever I think about that, I'm like disappointed. I'm like, but Varia sounds so magical and sci-fi, and it's like, no, it's the barrier suit. Literally, it's a barrier. Man, between I pronounce every hate. single word. Oh, it's a little mini crate. You call it the uh, Varia suit? Yeah, I call. I, think it, I pronounce everything differently. I mean, they they totally changed it to a made-up word, so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, my favorite, uh, at, since we ranked the Jim Carrey's, I just want to rank a Phil Hartman bit. If you have one, mm. I have a, I have a couple Phil Hartman okay. bits, real quick. My, uh, of course, because you got to go Simpson style, and because, uh, like all good nerds from the '90s, uh, were sad Simpsons quoters. But yeah. God, <laughs> God, do I, God, do I love that Lionel Hutz bit where he's in court, he's defending, <laughs> he's defending Marge. I think about it every time I, I see or hear or smell or drink bourbon. I think delicious bourbon, brownest of the brown liquors, so tempting. Holds it up to his ear. What's that? You want me to drink you? <laughs> I'm in the middle of a trial. His vocal <laughs> performance is so good. So good. And then uh, uh, one of my favorite uh, skits of his of all time, this is when he hosted SNL one time. But I go back to this. I, I must quote it at least once a week. And I feel like no one remembers this bit or cares about it. But he was an acting coach. And it was just a, the sketch was just him leading an acting class. And he was just, it was very real and very insufferable. Yeah. But he uh, he's about to call this Molly Shannon's character up. And he's like, uh, I forget her name. And he probably calls her Megan or something. For the sake of this, it's just Megan. He's like, come on up here. And then he stops and he goes, quick note. Puts his hand on her shoulder. I don't like women. I don't think they should be in the business. All right, let's go. And then she she gets back <laughs> up. He says it's so cavalier, this horrible thing. And then he stops her in the middle of her bit. And he's like, why are you so scary? And she goes, well, I, I say, no, say nothing. Why are you so scary? I was just going to say nothing. Why are you so scary? Say nothing. Good. And then she sits down. And I'm, I think about... I just, I want to give that same advice to a lot of people that I know all the time. Why are you so scary? <laughs> Say nothing. Uh, it's a, And then, of course, uh, the, I think the best line of that whole thing is, I was working with David Hasselhoff, Baywatch, Knight Rider, Knight Rider Nights, list goes on. And of course, <laughs> and of course the list uh, does not go on. <laughs> That's the beginning. I just love how casually he tosses it off. But Phil Hartman... Uh, okay, Rest I have a long. This is a long story, but okay, go. So when I was ten years old, maybe nine, in elementary school, uh, we were doing like pr for President's Day, we each were assigned a president, and we had to do like a report on them. And there was going to be like a day where we all presented them in the gymnasium, and everybody had to present them at the same time. Mm -hmm. And my teacher, knowing I'm an idiot, uh, tried to throw me a softball by giving me Bill Clinton, who I did not know was president at the time. Oh no! <laughs> and so I like I went home and I I mentioned to my mom at one point that there was like a project I had to do and then I, I put it out of my mind and forgot about it till the day of, or no before that though when I told her about it she's like okay well if you want which president did you get and I go I forget <laughs> and she goes uh okay well where do you go if you want to learn about the presidents and I'm like the encyclopedia <laughs> she's like yes. So I went looking in the encyclopedia, not the internet. There was no internet back then. I went mm -hmm. looking in the encyclopedia for Bill Clinton. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I guess he's like not famous enough of a president because he's not in here. <laughs> so I put it out of my mind. And then the day of the report, uh, I, I told my mom, I was like, yeah, I have to do Bill Clinton. And she's like, Bill Clinton, that's so easy, you idiot. And uh, the only thing I knew about Bill Clinton was from Phil Hartman's SNL sketch. Oh, no. Where he's going around to McDonald's eating everybody's food. That, oh, that's the <laughs> best. Oh, God, so that's the best. My entire presentation was me 
with I drew a beard on my face because Bill Clinton famously had a beard. Oh, Griff. <laughs> and my entire presentation was just an empty Big Mac box <laughs> and a stiletto heel. And that one was my mom's idea. <laughs> And oh boy! We, I had literally nothing else, and I had no idea why every single parent who walked it. by laughed at the stiletto heel. I did not know about anything going on in the news. <laughs> oh my god! And so and, this, uh, would, this would and what's also what's also funny about that is McDonald's doesn't sell empty Big Mac boxes. <laughs> I had eaten well, a Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, so the only thing I knew about Bill Clinton was because of Phil Hartman. <laughs> there you go. There's going to be a lot of things we don't tell Mrs. Clinton. Uh, that is a fantastic sketch. It's so intercepted by warlords. Look I got that a D. One up. I got a D, by the way. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you crushed it. No. <laughs> this was Jersey, so I was thinking A+. plus. <laughs> Yeah, no. I, there were oh, like a lot. There, you, like every parent was laughing at the stiletto heel, and I had no idea why. I was like, I guess I'm hilarious. <laughs> oh man, it's interesting to think that like that's pre Monica Lewinsky, and he had plenty of scandals well before that. Yeah, well, there it's was like, like the 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 other Jennifer, scandal I knew. Jennifer was the, Flowers, I believe, was her name, and then there was also the, like I was gonna was say the whitewater white real estate stuff. Yeah. yeah, whitewater. Yeah, they were like there was like it. It didn't matter. Like there was all sorts of stuff that was happening, and they called him Slick Willie because he could get away with anything. Like that was the whole thing. But all of that pales into compar pales in comparison to just funny president eat Big Mac. That <laughs> that's was a, enough. That's for literally a all I knew. Yeah, that was all I knew about him. That's was enough. That it was, was a funny sketch. Yeah, I I think Tom Arnold's in that sketch, and I he's so effortlessly and and far. I'm like maybe the only person on the planet that's like, let me tell you about a good Tom Arnold line. But like, he uh, oh, uh, he, he goes uh, he goes. You want me to scramble up? Uh, you want me to scramble up some of them greasy sausage patties you like? I just love the way he s <laughs> well s scramble up. That concludes uh, another episode of Super of, Metroid of elderly millennials reminisce. Thank reminisce you. Reminisce about about uh, Phil Hartman. <laughs> See you tomorrow. See ya. <laughs>